that you face when you build that platform. Yes, I really like that. Ah, I will explain what is the equation. The equation is in mathematics. You know to have a result, you need to solve the unknown. Okay. Some things that you didn't know. And that is the equation. You have something, you have something that you unknow, and you want your result. That's the reason why I created this. This is a mastermind for six, six and seven uh, figures earner. Welcome to the Unlock Potential, where we dive into the journey of those who are reshaping the world of entrepreneurship. My name is Kevin Raphael. Um, today, I'm really honored and excited uh, to have Jonas Diop with me tonight. Um, he's a master strategist and a mentor who has transformed uh, the entrepreneur uh, landscape or across the world. So Jonas, thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing great, great. Thanks to you to have me on your show. And uh, I'm happy right here to be here and to uh, share what is my journey and what is my philosophy. Nice, nice. Well, let's jump right in, Jonas. Uh, Jonas, uh, can you share what inspired you to start your business into a business strategy and development? Okay. First of all, I want to thank my mom for it because uh, I come from a, a, an entrepreneurial family. So uh, my mom, when she uh, was uh, 28, she already has three hair saloon and one uh, one perfume perfume uh, store. So that was the deal. So I was raised in in the business and I grew up in the business. So um, I start to do a business since I was very young at the age of four. I start with uh, the pog and uh, with uh, what's the name in English? But in French, it's Le B. So, uh, uh, a Beatles, I, I think. Yes, something like that. And uh, I'm I'm starting to uh, to uh, to do business with uh, the the game in uh, in the school. So you okay. you trade cards. <laughs> you 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 tried pogs and uh you 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 uh you tried for uh, for for some uh, friends de lu or uh, something to uh to to bite <laughs> something to to drink so uh, that was my uh my first journey and um why i started really to focus on uh business mastery on uh, on business ar architecture it's because some people come to me and say oh you do this so yeah. i had my first real business at 19 years old i was in university okay. i'm doing a economics degree and I okay. started to do jewelry. So I was jewelry. an artisan and I'm making jewelry. I'm making bracelet, necklace, and all of these things. Uh, first of all, to be fresh, to have uh, the style <laughs> and uh, to shine. But some people come to me and say, okay, I want this too. And I start yeah. to sell it. So with okay. uh, the Shambhala. Shambhala was a huge revolution in jewelry because so many uh, celebrities start to wear it. Okay. Shambhala bracelet, like Jay Z, like uh, like Riri, like every kind of ce celebrities, and I starting to do in my hustle with this kind of um, business. 
I make a lot of, a lot of money. Okay. When you are able to do uh, 50 grand a month, that's a lot of money at 19 years old. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said 50, five, zero, not 15, five, zero. Five, zero, 50 grand. 50 grand a month, okay. 50 grand. Wow. Okay. Ba basically, it's really, really simple because you start to do a bracelet. The bracelet only costs 10 to 20 euros because I was in, in France, I was in Paris. Okay. And you sell it for per hundred euros. Okay. okay. So you 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 met 20x. That was crazy. And I had um, one of my uh, favorite uh, customers. It's it's a Russian customers. And he yeah. has, uh, in Russia, he has uh, jewelry stores. And yeah. when he purchase, he purchase by thousands of bracelets. Okay, how were you so, able to... to, to um... How were you able to produce that that many that many jewelry for this for this customer? So basically, he called me two weeks before he's coming to to Paris and say, "Yes, I need one thousand, two thousand bracelet." So I go to uh to to the store to um my supplier with yeah. uh, the 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 beads and um. Everything to do with the jewelry, and during two weeks, I was at my place during bracelet. For you were, nine a.m., you, you were making your own jewelry. Yes, I was an artisan with my own hand. Wow! So I'm making the bracelet to nine a.m. to nine p.m. And when he's yeah. coming, say, okay, I like that. I take this, I take that. And uh, he, <laughs> he pay us a lot, a lot. So that's, that's, that's what's crazy. And some people say, oh, you, you were able to do that with nothing. Bootstrapping from your own cave, from your own chambers my own tiny room in university i just start and so when you I, when you were making those jewelry you mentioned university were you still going in school between that time yes i i i, I going in school i was in uh uh not her uh Paris Dis Nanterre University in economics. I'm going to school, but I have a, a busy life. I'm going to school yeah. after school. I'm meeting my customers, and after I'm meeting my customers, because I have so much uh, uh, people from the nightlife, DJs, uh, celebrities, and something like that, I go to... Um, Disney club to uh to 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 clubs to see the DJ performing and wearing my jewelry that was crazy at hmm. this time I was just a young man man that was just crazy enough to do that after okay. uh, right now I'm I'm nearly uh 35 years old but I 19 years old, you you lost your mind. You lost your mind with the money, with uh, the parties, with everything like that. And uh, some people come to me and say, oh, you do that. And I explain. And I started to explain, 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 explain. And eventually, some people say, I want to pay you to explain me that. I say, okay, that's another business. And I'm starting to do that. After I pursue my studies right here in Montreal, in communication, 
and I go to the firm, Maxim Victor. I was a okay. student to learn entrepreneurial journey right here in Canada. And after that, I become a trainer in this firm. And some people come to me and say, okay, I want to learn what is the entrepreneurial way to do that. We have a program in this firm, but some people say, yes, I really like the program, but I want to have your own way to do that. Your insight. Mm. And at this time, I was just a trainer and a personal development coach and a switch to be a business architect to mm. help them to perform. Wow. Wow. From Sorry four... if I make some mistakes. <laughs> my, my, my native language, my first language, it's French. Right now, I perform in English. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's that's uh, not not nothing new based on what your 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 life story uh, uh, has been ever since uh, you said you started at four years old. <laughs> well, that's just another another challenge that uh, that you that you that you go through. Uh, you you'll do your best, and uh, you uh, by doing your best. All through your life, you have you accomplish some amazing things, and you just following that flow. Um, wow, wow! From four years old, marbles to jewelries to entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneurial school programs here, and from there, people wanted they still wanted to know to learn about your way to do business. That's amazing. Yes, but I, I, I want to add about this. You see, a lot of people in um, social media say, okay, I have success, I have success, I have success. I starting my business at three years old, four years old. And many of them are liars. Why? Yeah. Because they don't tell they didn't tell about all of the failures and the mistakes they made. Mm -hmm. I made a lot of mistakes. That's the reason why I am able to talk in front of you. Because I have some scar, business scar. I lost a lot of money. I lost some friends. Because when you're, you are in business, Everybody come to you when you're making money. But when you don't have any money, you lost some friends. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that because if I see me in the 10 years, I want to have this message for the younger generation. I see so many people. Yes, I make one million in three months. You can you can do the same. They are all liars because you need to understand what is the process and how you can sustain your business. Some people, yes, they made one million in sales, but what is the revenue? What is the profit? Hmm. Are they able to have this profit and to continue to have this profit? No. I, 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 I just want to share that with you. Back then, in uh, two, 2016, I just started my podcast. Duke devient un conquérant. And I wanted to have the huge guest, one after the other, one after the other. And I see this man, this young marketer. He had plenty of success. And 
I reach him, I say, I want to have you as a part of my podcast to be my guest. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? And he starts to say, yes, I don't know. I'm very busy, but what is your audience? All the bullshit. Basically, that was a bullshit. And I say, why? He's so obsessed with the numbers and everything like that because I had one people that you know right now because he became a billionaire, not a millionaire, a billionaire that was Luc Poirier. Luc Poirier was on my podcast and he only said, okay, I have time for this day. Let's do it. And this man said, okay, yes, I need too much attitude. And I say, okay, never mind. You will never be on my podcast. And few weeks after, I met him at a chilling with one of my friends. And you see all the marketers were here and some marketers, I say, ah, okay. Yes, congratulations. I saw that on 24, 28 hours, you made three dollars $300,000 for your launch. And he said, yes. And he was not aware that I was here. And he didn't see me before. So he don't know that I I was a guy that say yes you can come to my uh, to my podcast and he start to explain what is really about say yes I me I met three hundred thousand but I was not in incorporation I say okay it was not incorporated fifty six percent go to the RAC, <laughs> to the taxes, to the to yeah. the impôt. Another way, yeah. his product was a high-risk product. Okay. So the processing payment was not 3%. That was 11%. Okay. His payment processor took 11%. Okay. That's huge. Yeah. So after all of that, we ask, what were, what was your profit? Under 50,000. He claimed to do 300,000 but it's profit. Why? Because he paid for the ads. He paid for the advertisement. He paid for um, the copywriting. Hmm. He paid for the automation. He paid for the tools. And all of this lie belong to social network. Yes, I met 3,000 in in, in 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 two days, a ah, bunch of liars. <laughs> well, um, you're right uh, that uh, a lot of people on social media they're showing a lot of uh, flashes and uh, they're renting a lot of houses, cars, just to show that they make a lot of money and stuff like that. And it's not real at the end of the day. Um, but when when uh, I looked into your 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 uh, into your your LinkedIn profile, I noticed that you also created a platform called L'Equation. What what is it, and what were the the major challenge challenges that you faced when you built that platform? Yes, I really like that. Ah, uh, I will explain what is the equation. The equation is in mathematics. You know to have 
a result, you need to solve the unknown. Mm -hmm. Some things that you didn't know. And that is the equation. You have something, you have something that you unknow, and you want your result. That's the reason why I created this. This is a mastermind for six, six and seven uh, figures earner. I have my own um, mentors that are in this platform. So mm -hmm. they will tell the truth. They already go through this process to make six, seven, eight figures. Okay. And I wanted to make this mastermind because I want to tell the truth. I want to share what you need to reach his level. And when you talk with someone at the beginning level, he just needs to make money. On the second level, you need to make your process and to have your process and your operating system. And at the third yeah. level, it's all about automation and human resources. But yeah. some people want to scale to six, seven figures and don't know what are their process, how to have automation, how to delegate, how to build a team, how to have a high value offer. And all of these things, the knowledge, the skills, and the implementation that was, that uh, we, we did that. We did and we're doing that in the equation. Okay. So the equation is basically um, uh, a group of entrepreneurs that are willing to go through the, the three three levels, as you say, money, system, and automation to be able to reach um, their an income of uh, six to seven figures. That's what it is? Yes. It's a scaling mastermind. Okay. And so we, we, we discussed about scaling strategies. Okay. Okay. And what were the challenges that you faced through when you created that platform, that mastermind? Mm, first of all, to convince my mentors. Mm, okay. Because they already had their mastermind. Okay. The second thing is to be able to position myself as a notoriety. Okay. So I make plenty of um, of uh, conferences. Some of them with hundred and thousand peoples. I wrote a book. Okay. I change life of many peoples. But as a black man, as a black entrepreneur, and as a not a flashy guy, some people disrespect me don't okay. know what is my legacy. So I say, okay, I will do that. Some people will question me about that and I will show them what is the truth about that. What is the truth about that? And what is true about that? Okay. And... How were you able, I know that you mentioned that one of the challenges was to convince 
uh, those entrepreneurs to you come to your platform when they already had their own? How were you able to do that? With GV partnership, profit With sharing, profit sharing. Okay. And uh, one of the first things I'm here to promote also their project. Mm, okay. So they are able to give me some time, some value to have more people, to reach more people. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, I need just one hour of your time every month. Okay, I give that to you. And why they give that to me? Not about only reach more people, uh, show the offer, but also because I had built a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So they say, okay. And as, as a student, I ask to them my, <laughs> my problems. What I want, why I want to solve. And they say, okay, I will show you how to do that on this platform, on the equation. Nice, nice. Now, um, can you talk about a moment or a decision that you took that really changed your uh, your entrepreneur journey? Was there any, do you have any example of successful strategy that you used to show that uh, um, a decision or something that you did that really was key for your for your entrepreneur journey? I have just one. This one is I don't care. I don't really? care what was the result before. I don't care about what people thinking about what I'm doing. I'm doing my business for myself to enjoy my life. So I don't care. I just launch, 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 launch. After that, I learn about my mistake and my victories. So mm. I launch, I, I met my, my my first book right here. It is a book, a great book, yes. It is a life changing book, yes. It is my best book that I write down, no. But I did this book in under one week. And I yeah. launched this book. So right now, I master the, um, the process to launch a book, to write down a book. And I don't have the time for any doubt to say, okay, I really need to do this. I really need to do that. No, I go with my instinct. You know what? That's a that's a really good uh, quality to have because me, um, one of my challenges is that I when I start something, I want it to be perfect, and I overthink, I overwork on something, and. It's kind of um, I'm I'm working. I'm thinking so much on what I'm doing that I don't launch it. At some point, I decided to do. You know what? It's good to 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 work on something so it can be perfect, but it will never be perfect. So at some point, I decided to do. You know what? At some point, when I work on something, I'm gonna use. I remember one of uh, one of my one of my boss was telling me that, that you know what? You need to adopt a mentality of good enough. You don't, you, you're not lazy when you work on something, mm -hmm. you, you do your best. But at some point you have to say, you have to question yourself, is that good enough? If it is yes, then 
then launch it and move to the next step. So that's, that's something it. that 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 I've been working for many years that I'm getting better, but still it's uh, um it's it's a work in, it's still a work in progress. It will always be a work in progress because that's the way I am. I'm a perfectionist. But that's when I when that that boss, his name was Karim when I was working at the Mad Science and he gave me that tip. It's Kevin, you're really good on what you're doing, but you overthink and you overwork on stuff. You need to adopt the good enough uh, process. So that's obviously something that you don't have an issue with, the fact that you lunch, 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 which is the good thing because at some point something's going to work. And the things, the thing that do, you take a note of it. The thing that don't, you take a note of it, and you make sure you don't repeat it the next time. So that's a that's a really good thing that that uh, that you already have adapted. That's part of you, kind of. That's really cool. Um, I, I I'm like uh, Apple. You know, Apple launched their product, and when they launch, they are not perfect as any iPhone or something like that. But they get feedback. They get criticism. And with that, they built a better product. So they launch an iPhone and six months after, you will have this same iPhone with the S version. That's it. And it's the same with the iOS and all of these things. So I take the Apple strategy to launch, to have a feedback, to adapt, and to build better. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, you will progress toward victories mm -hmm. over that you uh, over analyze and that's the reason why i start to launch many 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 things and i want to say something right here i will launch on the second part of 2024 a lot of things a lot of things is coming oh okay <laughs> it's a okay. it's a promise okay um, anything that you can share with us today or we just have to wait for it to come out? Just see me in action. <laughs> just see okay. me in action. Um, well, that's, yeah, let's, let's keep in touch with, uh, with, uh, Jonas. That's the main thing because he's about to launch something amazing in, uh, in this uh, in this in the next few few months so um Jonas could you share a story with us where you used a strategy that really helped your business improve okay i will i will give you a growth hack if you apply this you will make a ton of money in short period of time. But you can do that every time. And even my cats want to know that. <laughs> so it's really simple. You just need to launch an offer. But you do it in the private mode. And it's really simple. Like network marketing, you need to apply this same rule. Urgency and um, enthusiasm. Urgency and enthusiasm. That okay. is the both way to get it. And what you did, it just, you post a stories on your social media about that you launch your project or your offer. 
and you will see who watch it, who interact with it, like, share, and something like that. And every body that see it, look about it, share it, have an interaction with him, with that publication, you read them in a private message, and you say, I choose only 10 people to start with, and I choose you. Do you want to be a part of that? And don't worry about the price. That will be a gift for you. And some, every people say, okay, I want to know more. I took a virtual coffee with them and say, okay, this is my offer. You have this, 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 this. That is the value. That is the price. But I choose you. I cut this in half. 50% off. And I did that a few years ago when I just started my business. Okay. In a day, I make 17,000 bucks in a day. 17, one seven? One seven thousand. Okay. More of that, but I want to trip more more that seventeen thousand. But what I did, I just reach every 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 people for that. Yes, I have this. 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 And in on the same day, I have twenty calls. I close eleven calls. And my program was three hundred, three thousand dollars. But if they pick right now, it's only fifteen thousand. Yeah. So fifty fifteen hundred. I I don't know about the hundred, the thousand, the the million, the billions. <laughs> I'm joking, but that was fifty percent off. Mm -hmm. and I close the deal like that okay. it's just a growth hack but if you want to uh, to have success it's just a numbers game some people say okay you need to contact how many people have you reached or oh, I try on 10 people I try it on almost 40 people to have my sales. And I will continue until of my sales. So so if I understood you you created a story that you're launching a product and whoever interacted with that story, you send them a DM saying that not a DM because it's not a DM with message it's a call or oh, you call, call them call them oh. okay you can DM them but I pick my phone I call them oh, so wow. okay I just saw that you interact me with my publication so right now I'm launching the one of my biggest, most awesome offer that I ever had. Do you want to be a part of it? I chose you. Hmm. Oh, that's grinding. That, yeah. What is your offer? <laughs> what is all about? Okay, have you got ten minutes? Yes, I've got ten minutes. Explain to me. I have this, 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 this. That will be so amazing. Okay, okay, okay. And what is the deal? It's three thousand 
It's 150. Okay. Are you in or are you in? <laughs> I like that. Are you in or are you in? <laughs> oh, uh, you focus a lot of strategy positioning and and regular income. How do you help companies figure out and apply these ideas? You know. First of all, when I talk with someone, I say, introduce me, your company. Tell me more about your company. And okay. he tell me, okay, I am in this domain. Okay. But you tell me about the domain. You tell me about the offer. But you don't tell me about your ecosystem. And yeah. when I talk to them, okay, I have this offer, this product, and okay. But you are just able to monetize on this because you don't understand all your ecosystem. You have, if you have a business around a product, you need to develop a service. If you have a service, you need to develop a product. You need to develop affiliate. If you don't product... Uh, if you don't produce um, a service or you are not able to, to do a product or a service, you can do an affiliate. I will explain that with an example that will, that will be more clear. I apologize, my English is so bad. I did uh, a gym session, but I'm here with you. Um, That's okay. Don't worry about it, Jonas. Okay, I I had a a, a minty. Yeah. We we will call her Vanessa. Okay, so she is a coach, a fitness coach. I say okay, Vanessa. What is your business? She said okay, I'm fitness coach. I say okay, you're a fitness coach. So, what are you doing? She said yes. You can train with me is 60 bucks an hour. I say, okay, but you trade time right now. What is your business? She say, oh, it's, oh, it's a fitness business. She said, it's not a fitness business. It's a health business. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? She said, yes. I'm doing a, um, a training blueprint and everything. I say, what else? Uh, I, I do uh, gym tracking. I say, what else? That's it. I say, okay. So you want to make some money with that? Yes. So you have a services? Yes. What is your product? I don't understand. I don't sell product. What is your product, Vanessa? I don't get it. Okay. Do you have digital product? What is digital product? Do you have online trainings? Ah, no, I don't have the online trainings. It's a core of your business. <laughs> you need to digitalize yourself. I say, okay. So, first of all, we will make some digital products, online training. Yes, but what is it's all about? Okay. Booty training for girls that what <laughs> they want that. Yes. And a back training, back pain training. For everybody. Oh, yes. That's cool. Everybody have back pain. and That's it. And we started with that. After I say, okay, what is your next step? Are you doing fitness tracking? You say, yes. Are you doing that? Yes, I have an impedance. Okay, I got it. So, 
you selling uh, the way matters les balances I say okay yeah, I got it yeah the scale so you selling are you selling a scale no I have an impedance scale they coin and I will see what is uh, what is the difference what is the evolution I say why you don't sell the scale she said I don't know. I don't produce that. Okay. Where do you buy the scale? Oh, okay. Come to this website. Go down on the footer of the website. Click. You have an affiliate. An affiliate links that you can product. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Sign up as an affiliate. So right now, what you, on your offer, what you give is the tool to do the fitness tracking. So says, she start to vent the scale. She start to vent the, the weight. She start to, to, uh, to sell all these tools around <laughs> that. <laughs> She start to 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 sell uh, a, a, a mattress that that's called a pod or something like that is a three thousand three thousand to four thousand mattress that cooler your body for your sleep and everything like that they start she start to doing that too so she yeah. understands was is the ecosystem, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, I say, what else? Oh, uh, I see that I'm wearing uh, uh, Gym Sharks, uh, Gym Sharks product on myself. I see I'm wearing Nike. Okay, we will find the supplier of Gym Sharks. We will find the supplier of Nikes. And she launched her brand. Uh, a sports apparel brands, right? And after that, I say, okay, do you take some um, some um, supplements? Yes, for sure. Okay. Do you uh, do you sell supplements? Oh no, I don't send supplements, but I want to uh, partner with. Um, uh with a brand i said no 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 <laughs> let's see how to launch a supplement product and we will figure out we have a platform site called supplyful supplyful.com it's um it's a drop shipping white label supplement it's a high quality FDA proofed okay. okay supplements that one of the biggest supplier of supplements and she start to white label her supplement so right now she has her business about supplements mm. so we develop supplements Sport apparel brands, online training, new kind of offer. And right now, she 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 writes some books about training. Hmm. All of that. She was at 60 per hour. Right now, she's 300 for 30 minutes. <laughs> so basically, when we 10x our business, mm. call That's me Grant Cardon. Grant, Grant <laughs> Cardon, call me if, if you know how to 10. <laughs> That's a perfect example of the first of five. As as soon as 
you brought the, the to to that the, that coach the attention that she she was in the health business. Everything that's connected to health is it's reachable. You can use that to sell either a service or product online, and he doesn't even have to 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 do the work through affiliates yes. to other other uh, um, uh, to further. Uh, furnitures and stuff like that. Wow. Okay. If you are an affiliate, you don't need to manage the logistics. If you do white label and drop shipping, you don't need to manage the logistics. Right? We super full. We buy the brand. It's almost free. And after what she did, she go to a Shopify and she did a Shopify uh, boutiques for social networks, not a real one, just to sell on social on social networks. It's only seven seven dollars per month. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so we we did bootstrapping. It's a bootstrapping yeah. business. Wow, it's amazing. Um, that that. Wow, you brought a lot, a lot of things, a lot of good ideas, and uh, it's amazing. Uh, so, we, sadly, we 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 are we are at the end of our podcast. We could we could talk more and more. There, there, there's no way that's only going to be the the only episode. I have to bring you back to to talk about more because, wow. Um, so you mentioned a book. You have a book called uh, Now or Never um, to be able to develop a high-ranking mindset. Uh, what is one core message you hope readers take away from that book? It's now and ever. So just do it right now. It's now and ever. Some people say, I will have, I will travel when I will be uh, 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 retired. And I want to share that with you. It's a difficult um, thing to, to share with you, but it's real. It, it's happened in my family. Um, few years ago, on the thirty uh, ones December, I have my um, brother that called me few times, and I didn't answer. I don't answer to to the call, and I see five calls. I say, what the heck? I on call December him. 31st, you said? Yes. Okay. December 31st. I call him. I say, okay. And anything it's happened to, to mom? He said, no, not to mom. But my sister in law, his spouse, lost her mom. Okay. This day. Her mom, it's one of the nicest person I ever met. She worked a lot to provide for her family. And she died at 
one or two years are about to be retired. Hmm. I was in shock. Right now, when I tell you that I'm sad, but I'm pissed off. Why? Because she was so focused to provide for her family. She doesn't ever have time for her. And we will just looking to, okay, she will be retired. She will go. That never happened. And some people say yes in the future and the future and the future. We don't know the future. Hmm. Yeah. The only things that we know it's right now. So if you do you move, do it now. Just do it now. You don't have the time to ask yourself, it's it's God. Or not, just do it. And if you just need some motivation to do something, as Gary Vaynerchuk say, memento mori, memento mori, you need to rem remember that we, you will die, that you will lose your life. What you have this pressure, this, this fear, you will do, you move. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want, I, 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 I need to wait to talk to this person. I need to wait to do this move. I need to wait to have my dream life. I need to wait, wait, wait for what? You wait a second. Second after second, it's a minute. Minute after minute, it's an hour. Hour after hour, it's a day. Day after day, it's a week. Week after weeks, it's a month. Month after month, it's a years. Years after years, it's your life. And at the end of your life, you have this regret. Oh, I was young. I, 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 I can do this. I can do that right now. I don't have any more, any more um, power, any more strength to do that. The t retirement, it's a lie. Retirement is a lie. Every, every two or three years, they put another two years, another three years. When you understand that, you say, okay, let's go. Let's do it right now. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason, in our, in our culture, in our society, we, I, I can say, I, I can say, it's, it's get, it's, um, the younger generation start to enjoy way more than the generation before because they want to, they, they want, they want, uh, they want to, they want to enjoy their life younger and younger, but, uh, we, we, we. Sometimes we treat ourselves like gods. We think that we know, we we know when we were born and we know when we will die. So it's like, um, oh, that's okay. I have enough time so to do what I have to do, and nobody knows. We know our beginning, but we don't know the, uh, our last day. 
It could be in a couple of seconds. It could be tomorrow. It could be in a week, in a month, next year. But we don't know. And the fact that we treat our life like we're God, that we're in control, we have this tendency to put things on the side. Well, like you were saying, oh, I can't wait to do this. I'll wait until I retire. And I'll wait until this. I'll wait until that. And life goes on. And and a lot of people at some point, when they do actually retire, some of them realize, well, I don't have the energy anymore to do this. Yes. So that's true. Now or never, definitely. Uh, we, we, we have to take some risk, calculated risk, but we cannot put everything on the waiting list until the perfect moment comes. There will never be a perfect moment. Just like I was mentioning earlier, at some point we have to we have to do ourselves the exercise. Is that good enough? The good enough moment? Yes, you have to take some risk, and there's some time better time to do something, and than other times. But we cannot push everything on the side on the waiting list like this. Then you're I, gonna I, get... I want. To, I I just want to finish this uh, this. Uh this interview with that. If you want to do something great, just do it with confidence. You know what, what is the risk? The risk is coming with a doubt. If you do something is not perfectly right, but you have confidence that will work. If you do the most better things, but you have some doubt, you create risk and you create failure. So, to avoid the doubt and to avoid the risk, do it do it fast very fast but when you say do it fast um the, the this is my over analytic side of me that comes out when you do it fast the risk is for someone who has perfectionist tendencies is that i don't want to put out something that's that doesn't have any value i want to put something out something that's at least good enough so no 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 no, no. you 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 need first of all to put something and after you have the feedback why you don't have so much value and you overcome that and you make a better product so you have the first version, the second version, and everything. I back in days I launched a coaching program. I was launching a, a coaching program that was a mess. Why? Because I didn't know what to launch. I said, "Okay, I will help you something," and. I start my program that was a good program because on the session by itself, that was amazing, but that was disgusting because I don't have any structure. Okay. And some people say, yes, you are a great coach. At this time, I was a coach, but right now I'm a business architect. As they say, but... The structure is not clear. I said, okay. And I start to analyze and I put a structure. After someone say, yes, you have the structure, but I don't have um, materials. I said, okay. And I create a workbook. And after I start to crafting my offer, I'll say, okay, right now, I understand 
what is a real program? What I need to have in this program? What was lacking on my program and what people want? It's okay to look something that not so great, but it's not okay to not improve. And you so need you to know. improve quickly to tackle this. And when you give someone something, they say, okay, you could do better. I want this. The next week you do, you do that. So you learn something and you put your ego on the side, knowing that with the feedback that you will have, you will improve what what you launch. Yes. And I okay. launch a lot of things like that. I launch uh some um some webinars. Ah yes, but you don't talk about that. Okay, I put on the same day. <laughs> on the same day. I fix that. That's okay. My webinar will talk about that. And that's the reason why I'm getting better and better and better and better. Hmm. Oh, that, that was amazing, Jonas. That was really enlightening. Uh, the time we share regarding that, like I said earlier, there's no way that it's going to be the only episode. I have to to bring you back for another episode to talk even more about other stuff. Oh, sure. That was that was really, really interesting. Thank you for taking the time to share this with us, Jonas. Um You're welcome. Thank you. And uh I can't wait to see what what will come next from you. And for those who are following uh the show, where can they follow you and reach you? Oh on my social network. It's Jonas Diop, D-I-O-P, Jonas like Jonas Borges, J-O-N-A-S, D-M. Jonas Diop, D-M, on all social network, Instagram, Facebook, wherever it is, you will find me. Good, cool, cool. Well, thank you everyone for tuning up, tuning today uh, into the Unlock Potential. Uh, join us next time uh, as we uncover more stories of innovations and success. Don't forget to click the subscribe uh, button and leave a comment below. Uh, if you have uh, any comments regarding what Jonas and I talked today, don't, uh, don't be afraid to put some comments there. Uh, and remember, Every big journey begins with a small step. Let's take that first step together here at Unlock Potential. See you on the next episode, everyone. Ciao. Bye-bye. <laughs>